Oh my bitches, hi guys, welcome back to part 2 of my Riverdale Season 5 Episode 4 reaction video. If you haven't checked out part 1 of this reaction, make sure you go and click the link in the description box below to watch that one first. Otherwise, let's just get right back into this episode. We found out what's happening to Archie, what's happening to Betty, and Veronica, but we haven't seen what's happening to Jucket, which obviously he will be the next character. Um, we found out what's happening to Tony, kind of. Not really. We haven't seen Sherry, but it's very, it's very interesting. Like, obviously, it's totally different, which is, like, it's a good, fresh start, I feel. And, like, obviously, this is slowly all going back to Riverdale, because, obviously, maybe what would ever happen to Pop is going to bring them all back, maybe. So, I guess we'll find out. So, without further ado, let's just get uh, right into, uh, back into this episode. Let's go. A new one comes out each year, so you can start collecting. Wait. Oh, that's that egg shit. That's that egg shit. That's the egg, the, the, the thing, the egg, the expensive egg thing, right? And, that, and now she's realized that that's, he, this is literally Hiram and Hermione, how they probably started out. The, the first bloody expensive egg crap. Girl, get away from him! Well, Yvonne, oh my god, it's perfect. Yeah, get rid of the egg, bitch. Good, good luck to you, good luck to you. Archie? Is everything okay? Ooh. But my question is, Jughead, why are you using a typewriter? Use a bloody laptop, it'll be so much easier, however, it's Riverdale, so like, I'm not gonna look much into it. But like, that's a lot of, hey, but that, you, it is what it is, if, he, if he's happy doing it on a typewriter, if he's uh, writing on a typewriter, God bless him, I wish him all the best, but clearly it's not working. He's just having Ryder's block, I feel. Okay, so you'd rather talk to your agent than your girlfriend, that's awesome. Uh, okay. We meet for an early lunch at that place. I have Ryder's block. So do I. But I'm not punishing you for it. Can we talk about this when I get back, please? And a toxic relationship. And you drink too much. Oh, so shit. Hemingway okay. Zero. You want to strike? What? It all comes down to, do you want a career? Or do you want to be a one-hit wonder? I can't hear you. Why is this literally Lucas Scott? Like, if, did you guys ever watch One Tree Hill? And when they did the time jump, Lucas had published his first novel. And he was, like, having writer's block on his second novel. And then he goes back to town. And then he receives Peyton. And then, like, they reignites his re his writing um, things. And he can rewrite a book about her. Get another book about her. So maybe Jughead goes back to Riverdale and gets inspired by Betty. And can write again. I don't know. That's a theory. We'll see what happens. All I need is I just... Know what you need, Jones. But I'm definitely not it. Ooh, babe. Good luck with your book. It's the only thing you care about anyway. All the tea. I feel a bit sorry for her a little bit. But it's, I don't know. It's very complicated. Very complicated. It is you. Oh my god, I was just sitting over there reading your book. And then I look up and there you are. Sexy. I was going to say. Okay. It's a very sexy book, friend. They would have sex, aren't they? Of course, you're okay, 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 okay. Wait, does he have a tattoo on his chest on the fucking phone? He has a tattoo. Bi he, I know he has. Ta he has a tattoo on his chest, though. Let me see. Don't be shy. What is that? I can't see. If there's one thing that pisses me off about Riverdale, it's the lighting. Like, why is the lighting so dark in the show? Like, I can't see! <laughs> you have your drawers. <gasps> is Stop that okay? it. I'm stressed. Yeah, no, it's not a big deal. I uh, wish coffee, bro. Telling you that bar last night was... is... your usual hangout. What? Uh, okay, stalker? so I really am a fan of your book. Honestly. Is she a stalker? Are we, do we have a stalker vibe going on? Okay. Oh, uh, she wrote a book. Would you mind reading my novel? It's only 342 pages, and if you like it... Or that Jones, drop it off! Who are they? They're collectors. Is he my message for you? Don't what? call us. It's urgent. You got it. Will do. Damn, she really just did that for him. Like, I can stand. Like, she did that without any hesitation. <gasps> Queen. Thank you. No problem. If I don't hear from you, I know exactly who I'm gonna call. I mean, look, the girl 
is a businesswoman I have to commend. I gotta commend a businesswoman, but like I'm stressed. I'm there's already too much shit happening. There are just so many possibilities that this story can go. Like I'm I'm very stressed. I'm very stressed. Answer the all. Oh, he's. I feel like Jughead still has. Um, his feelings are still hurt from Archie kissing Betty. I feel like. Um, because you know how I said that the vibe was off on him. Maybe he wasn't okay with it, and like he kind of brushed it off. Like he was like okay because my like, oh, God, it's very mature. But maybe he just like kind of put his feelings down, and kind of hid them away, because Archie was leaving. He wanted to like, ruin the moment. So maybe he still has unresolved issues about that, which I feel like. Of social services, but their offices got shut down. Lucky for her, we needed a Why? counselor at Riverdale. They got saying Kevin's arms got fuck off. Did you see this? You're seeing his arm, right? Like we've been knew he's been working out. Like we're not shocked. Episode eight is the shirtless scene. Let's not forget. <laughs> we're getting so close, anyways. But like, oh look at him, anyway. What was he saying? I got distracted. Hold on. Yep, I'm the drama teacher. Got my BA from Carnegie. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Where I graduated from the university. <laughs> Stay boyfriends. <laughs> not. And now we live together here. That's right, you do. That's right, you do. I love them. But now that they've grown up, are they my children? They're still my children. I would defend them if my life I don't give a fuck. Oh my god, they're still my children. Of course they are. I am a parent. Where's Tom? to know him. Anyways, so they, so everyone's working at Riverdale pretty much. Okay. An apartment on Cloverfield. I was crowned the Serpent Queen. As you should. As you should. Pulls in a different crowd though. What's Cheryl? What about Cheryl? It's cool, guys. As you know, after graduation, Cheryl and I broke up. R.I.P. Shoney. After. R.I.P. Shoney, stop! Why? Why? I know, but they're gonna find their they're gonna find their way back to each other. It's okay. I was gonna go through the angst in the meantime, which is fine. But like, where Cheryl? Though? I got back. And I've got my painting to finish. Perhaps another day. What's happening? Okay. Sure. I'm perfectly fine. Why is this? Why the vibe? Why is the vibe off? What happened? What happened? Do I appear to be otherwise? Yes. What's wrong with Cheryl? What happened? And did you go back? I did. Hiram Lodge was there with his new right hand man, Reggie. Wait, Reg what? Was looking for Hiram Lodge? I will never sell you. Make that happen. So, so Hiram is still causing shit. In my life and my kids' lives, he's still there causing, trying to buy everything in Riverdale, right? And now Reggie's his right hand man. Hiram needs to get out of. If all the parents had left, why is Hiram still here? Why? What is. I have Chadwick! Why do I need Hiram? Why do I need two of them? Listen. And why are you coming for. Should I come for Cheryl? Oh! Anyways. If you would do me the honor of letting me paint you. Oh, really? What happened? No one's seen you in town in years. Don't worry about me. Was Anna and I are just fine. Was she just staying in, in, in Thistle House? Thorn House? What the, what's the house called? She's just staying in her house this whole time? She quarantining, honey. <laughs> what a good girl. Love a COVID safe queen. No, I'm sorry. But what the fuck's going on? There's no reason for us to leave Thorn Hill. And she's Am I missing anything important? Yes. Well, the baby. other than the fact I'm having a baby. I'd heard that. Maybe that's why she's pissed. They recognize and acknowledge everything you've done to make up for your ancestors' sins. Okay, okay. And Cheryl, I think that they'd approve of us being together. <gasps> really? Yeah! I'm so happy to hear that. No, but it's weird because she's pregnant. And Cheryl, maybe she feels a betrayed. Maybe that's why she's so cold to her. Because she... Mm, I can understand, but like... I don't know! See? This... Why the fuck? I love the eggs, because they're going to be together in the end. They have to be. But like, I don't want to be in pain. Tony, the Blossom Curse runs deep. I'm doomed to a life of unhappiness. No! I think you're cursed. The curse couldn't consume her. Is that right? That's really sad. Going? Cheryl. You deserve to be happy. With you! That 
That's really she heartbreaking. She just painted me for 12 hours, and when she was done, I left. And a week later, a package showed up in the mail, and it was my portrait. I mean, the portrait is fantastic. But why? That's really heartbreaking. That she thinks she doesn't deserve to be happy. She just deserves to stay in Thistle or Thornhouse, Thornhill, whatever. <laughs> I don't know what the fucking house is called. She just deserves to stay there. To, like, stop the... She doesn't want the... That's really sad. We'll get her out. It's exactly like the original. Oh. It's a perfect copy. Shit. She's in pain, man. She's in pain, the poor thing. Tony, earlier you said, Dak, this place is like a war zone. Well, wait to see the rest of the town. Come on. My bike's up front. Was already a burnt up shell by the time I got it's like a whole ghost town. To Harm's done this way. Funding has been completely stripped by Harm Lodge. Yes, yeah, fucking Think asshole. Not only the people who are too poor, or too proud to move on, are still here. That's so sad, though. Like that's really sad. And it's all Harm Lodge. Why? So everyone, he left everyone. He just decided to fuck the town up and just be like, why can we? Get, if I don't condone. Like, if there's a serial killer, like, kill Hiram. Like, let's go, I'll pay you. Where's the hitman? I'll pay you, get rid of him. I'm sorry, but he needs to leave me alone. He needs to leave the town alone. I mean, that's probably what this season's about, them kind of rebuilding their town and stuff, which is cool. But, like, Hiram just pissed me fuck off. Turn you on the motorbike? What a fucking icon. Literally icon. Literal icon. Goddess. Is what she is. This is where Hiram's building a turnpike that leads to Sodale about half a mile due east. Oh my Hiram's catering God. to the rich folk who can commute into the city. So he's strangling uh, Riverdale to boost Sodale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me guess, her kids will go to Sodale High. Actually, still mall prep. That place is the same, except Hiram Bottoms. The ghoulies moved into my house. So you want to go in there and knock some heads? Oh, God. As a matter of fact, yeah. Archie, I heard you were back. <gasps> he's not dead. It's good to see you. Oh, he's not dead, thank God! I was gonna say, don't tease me with Pop dying, I'll ruin you. I would not watch the show anymore if he died. That's a lie, I would've. But I'm so glad he's alive and he's well and he's healthy, I think. God bless, God bless Pop Tate. God bless. Say. Betty, hey, check it. Oh my God, there's so much tension no. between them all. You're as much a part of this as any of us. As she should! As it's her bad fucking time! It's her- I'm so happy, I'm so sorry. But like, I- we, we, the Tony fans, have waited. Vanessa Morgan is getting what she fucking deserves! That's all I'm saying. God bless. I'm so happy. Look, she's part of the gang now! Oh guys, Riverdale's dying. And we might be the only ones who can save it. I'm down. Let's fix it. Let's go. I'm done with Riverdale. Well, take care of yourself. Will do. She'll never make it to California. Will she die? She's gonna die, isn't she? Oh, for fuck's sake. That, that, that was interesting. Like, I liked what they did. Um, cause like, obviously, now they've all reunited, kind of, but it's just so, you saw it, it's so fucking awkward, it is so awkward, Jughead's so pissed off, Betty, the Betty and Jughead tension is insane, enemies to lovers, let's go, exes to lovers, let's go, no, 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 um, <laughs> anyways, um, but like, the, they all came back, but it's just so... There's just so much shit. Okay, so let's just go through Archie's story. Um, so obviously he has PTSD. Obviously he was at war. He's gone through a lot. Um, he was honorably discharged, maybe. Or reassigned to Riverdale. So obviously something happened that we don't know about or we'll find out, maybe. But that's a very interesting thing for him. Him coming back to Riverdale and, like, Tony showing him around and what's happening... Is amazing. I love that Tony's now a part of the gang, as she should have been from fucking season three when she became a series regular. And I'm still waiting for Kevin. However, I'm a, I'm a, I'm I'm able to push Kevin aside for a second and let Tony have her moment because she's waited long enough for her moment. And you know, you feel me. And I'm just so glad that she's now in part of the main with all the main characters. Like she's part of that. 
With the, with the core 4, that's the core 5, I'm feeling. I'm getting that kind of vibe, which we respect that, okay? Um, but Tony, um, so the Tony and Cheryl, like, there's angst. So, obviously, so she's pregnant. We don't know who the dad is, or the father is. I'm gonna say daddy. I'm like, I can't do, I can't say it seriously. I can't say daddy seriously. It's weird. We don't know who the father is. I guess we'll find out soon. Um, but Cheryl's low, maybe low, low-key annoyed or, like, you know, pissed off that she's pregnant. But, that means you can't, it's not, it's, it, it is what it is, like, you can't do nothing about that. Um, she has no right to be angry, like, she's all broken up, she can do what she wants. But, th- it's just really heartbreaking at the same time, for Cheryl to be, like, the person who's gonna stay, be, she's stuck in the house. She's like, you know, I don't want the curse to, like, get out of here, like, you know, she just confined herself and blocked everybody away, and it's really sad, really. And she deserves better, so I'm all hoping, um, having the Archie and Betty and John Ken and Veronica back... We'll bring Cheryl out of the house, maybe. But it's just, it's really, her story's really sad. Like, I'm actually heartbroken for Cheryl, man. And I know that Shani will get back together in the in time, I'm hoping. So we'll just have to, we'll have to get through the angst and, you know, let the story unfold. So we're holding out hope. Because um, if Shani doesn't end, end up together, then what the fuck's the point? Um, Veronica and her story, she, I reckon she's realised that she's become Hermione and home. Like, that she's become who her parents were. And she can't have that. And he's trash. And I and he got to the egg. But uh, I see he's in Riverdale, right? Chadwick's gonna come to Riverdale. I'm assuming. I can't. I ca- I cannot. And then Betty is having her PTSD with the serial killer. Like she's gone through. A lo- They've all gone through a lot, man. I can't. And then you had Jughead and his writer's block. But like he's has debt collectors up his ass. Like oh my god. It's just, wig. it's more, the stories are, gonna, are more adult, but, like, I still see them as high school kids, I'm like, what the fuck? But, like, anyways, I think this is gonna be a really interesting season, and the story, I think the time jump's gonna be good, because, like, obviously, it's the whole point of a time jump is to start fresh, but everything's broken, and they're gonna rebuild it, which I think is a cool idea, but Harm is gonna piss me the fuck off for the rest of the show, let me tell you, but, um... Yeah, it was a very interesting, well done episode. I'm very interested to see where it's going to go. Um, now that they've all united, next week, you know, we'll get some more, like, um, developments between the characters, some more interactions. So I'm very excited for that. The only criticism is that there wasn't enough Kevin and Fangs, obviously. Like, we know this is my issue. But the Tony screen time and the Tony story is great, and we need that. So I'm happy that she's getting what, her spotlight, finally. So we stand. So, that was my reaction to 504. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys uh, for Lexus tomorrow. I love you guys, and ciao for now. Bye, guys.